Hi everyone! Today I'm doing the long-anticipated review of the Petite Josephine Underbus Corset made by Isabella Corsetry. So here's the front, side, the back, and the other side. For the length and the fit of this corset, the center front is 11 and a quarter inches high and the princess seam here from under the bust down to uh, the top of the lap here, that is 9 inches high. So you can see that uh, actually I have about an inch between um, the under bust area of this corset and my actual under bust area and I probably have a good uh, 2 inches between the um, the bottom of the corset and where my lap actually starts. However, I find it very comfortable because it looks like a long line corset, um, but I find that it gives me a little bit more mobility compared to my other Josephine corset. I'm wearing a size 22 corset today, however, I purchased this second hand and this was well worn by the original owner, so it has stretched about an inch in the waist, so uh, this measures about 23 inches. I have also noticed that my other Josephine corset, my original Josephine, had also stretched an inch in the waist. That one was a size 20, but it ended up measuring size 21. Um, my original Josephine, I should also say, was much curvier. Um, I'm not sure if perhaps their measurements have changed or their pattern has changed. Um, when I contacted Isabella Corsetry, they said that they hadn't changed their pattern, but for some reason, uh, my original Josephine that I purchased five years ago, it seems to be an anomaly. It seems to be way curvier than the Josephine corsets today. Um, but this particular corset seems to match uh, the measurements stated on the website. That being, it has a seven inch rib spring and an 11 inch hip spring. So in this corset, since it's a size 22, the underbust measures uh, 29 inches and the low hip measures 33 inches. And I would say that this is a long line style corset. It's a long line corset that can be worn for people with a bit of a shorter waist. So my iliac crest was about there and the hips come down about two inches longer than that. A lot of off the rack standard size long line corsets tend to be in the range of about 10 and a half or 11 inches along the princess seam. Like I said before, this one is nine inches. So if you are a little bit shorter of stature or have a shorter waist, um, you know, nine inches or so, then obviously this one would fit you and you would be able to sit down more comfortably in this compared to the normal Josephine. As for the silhouette, I would definitely say that this has a conical style rib cage and then cupped hips, which I find very comfortable. So here is the Petite Josephine laid flat. For the materials, it feels like three layers. The fashion fabric of this one is a black satin uh, made from polyester. I feel that there is an interlining in between the satin and the lining here. And of course, the lining is this black cotton twill. Here's a close-up of the Isabella Corsetry tag, size 22, and the dry cleaning instructions. This corset has a six panel pattern. One, two, three makes the front, four, five, six makes the back. And you can see how panels three and four here create most of the curve over the hip. And like with Isabella's other corsets, this one was also constructed using the sandwich method. So the fashion fabric and the interlining, you know, those panels were assembled all together. The lining, these panels were assembled all together. And then they were attached at the front and the back. And uh, the uh, the seams were stitched in the ditch in between each one of these panels and the boning channels were also sewn through all layers so that the bones can be slipped in between the layers, hence the bones being sandwiched in between the layers. This corset also has a one inch wide waist tape running invisibly through the layers. You might be able to see the outline of chalk right there that uh, underlines the bottom of the, uh, the waist tape right there and it runs right from the front bust, that front edge, uh, on the first panel all the way to the back there. And here's a close-up of the binding. It's made from bias strips of matching black satin and it's machine stitched on both the outside and on the inside here. You can see that on the outside they've stitched in the ditch while on the inside here uh, you can see that there is a little bit of that lip there by necessity. The original owner of this petite Josephine corset had ordered it without any modesty panel. Uh, you have the choice when you're ordering from Isabella's website to have no modesty panel or an unstiffened modesty panel that's attached to one side like you see here in my original uh, Josephine here. Or you can have it uh, stiffened slightly and uh, kept separate so that you can just slide it in under the laces while you're lacing up. Or you, can, you have the choice of going with or without the, the modesty panel since it's not attached. 
Um, so obviously I don't have a mozzie panel in this one, but it is an option and uh, you know, you can get it for no extra charge. The busk in this corset is nine and a quarter inches long versus my original Josephine, which has a busk of uh, 11 and one quarter inches long. So it's about an inch and a half longer than this one. Uh, but both of them are a heavy duty busk, one inch wide on each side. And this one has five loops and pins all equidistantly spaced. And it is very, very stiff and sturdy. This corset has 20 bones total, not including the front busk, 10 on each side. So they all attract my magnet very strongly, so they're all steel bone. I believe these ones on the sides are all quarter inch wide spiral steel bones. Uh, these here, two, four, six, these are double boned on the seams. However, the bone that's in between panels one and two here, it's single boned. And same with the panel uh, five and six here. Uh, the one on this seam is single boned as well. Um, and then these two flats on the back, I believe this one is a quarter inch wide and this one might be uh, half an inch wide actually. I did notice that my original Josephine has two extra bones. Uh, this is double boned uh, between panels one and two and this is a size 20. This one's actually a one size smaller than this one but it has more bones. So I'm not sure why they decided not to um, add that extra bone in there unless they somehow changed the construction and figured that they would run out of space right here next to the busk. This corset has a total of 28 grommets, 14 on each side. Uh, they are size double zero with a medium flange around them and uh, they are not equidistantly spaced. They're spaced a little bit closer together at the waistline here and uh, these two at the very bottom are a little bit closer together too but um, they are finished in black but they have a little bit of a tarnished rainbow like effect. They're all holding in very well but I noticed the finish on these are different to the grommets in my original Josephine. So you can see here on the left is the petite Josephine and here on the right is the original Josephine. And the original Josephine, these grommets are still, uh, they're shiny, but they're they're not in the rainbow tarnished uh, type of grommet. So it, it might have a different coating. However, that's probably not Isabella's fault. Um, perhaps the, the grommet makers have just changed their coating over time. But the grommets in both of these seem to have survived quite well, even with as much use as they have seen. And the regular Josephine corset has a total of 30 grommets. So even though it's two inches longer in the back, uh, it only has two more grommets than the Petite Josephine. So they're a little bit more closely spaced together in the Petite Josephine. And the laces that came with the Petite Josephine are half inch wide double faced satin ribbon here. Um, it has no stretch to it, it's no spring. Uh, it's very strong, it glides well through the grommets and uh, it holds the bow well. It's nice and low profile under clothing, it lies flat. The price for the Petite Josephine corset on Isabella's website is normally $175 US. However, it seems to be on this indefinite sale. So if you wanted the black satin like this one, it's $157.50, I believe. There are a couple of corset styles that are cheaper than that, closer to $150, and a few brocade styles that are a little bit more expensive, $162. Uh, but of course, because this sale is kind of ongoing, uh, these prices are subject to change. And this concludes my review of the Petite Josephine Underbest Corset made by Isabella Corsetry. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that like button and help support the channel. And if you have your own uh, corset by Isabella Corsetry, the Josephine or the Petite Josephine or both, let me know what you think of it in a comment down below. And if you have tried both of them, let me know which one you prefer. And I will see you in a future video.